Greetings from the St. Paul AME Worship Center located in Lithonia, Georgia, where the dynamic and spirit-filled Reverend Nathaniel Ville Jr. is senior pastor. To our Bishop, Reginald Thomas Jackson, presiding prelate, 6th Episcopal District, Mrs. Christy Davis Jackson, Esquire, supervisor of the 6th Episcopal District, and Reverend Thomas Stigall, presiding elder Atlanta North, and all members of the 149th session of the Atlanta North Conference, greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Conference year 2022-2023 has been an exciting year in time for the Paul, with six conversions and six accessions. We have raised $511,393. Our debt is $945,437. Our church is insured by Guide One. The Finance Committee was active and supportive in the initiative to get the church a mortgage and settle the IRS debt. The Steward Board continues to support church ministries and initiatives during the conference year. The Social Action Committee presented a successful Juneteenth celebration that served as a great community outreach initiative and voters registration and blood drive. The Women's Missionary and Community Outreach included donating school supplies to three schools located in DeKalb County. Our Board of Trustees worked with the county's voter registration office to be reinstated as a polling place in time for the November general elections. One top trustee project this conference year was to replace the LED lighting in the sanctuary. Our tech arts team manages the audio and visual portion of the Sunday morning services and oversees the social media ministry and the church's website. The prison ministry continue prison visitations, preaching and teaching curriculum. The Young Adult Ministry was reorganized this year. Thursday Thursday's Bible Study and Sunday Night Live, both online Bible study opportunities were offered bi-weekly. Our outreach ministry's relationship with the community continues to strengthen as we grow our partnerships with AED, Social Action, the NAACP, House District 88, Voter Registration, AARP, Granite Crossing, and COVID-19 initiatives with the CDC. The Christian Education Department continues to provide opportunities for our youth by participating in online and in-person children's church, YBD activities and various festivals and celebrations in partnership with the St. Paul Christian School. Our Sunday School is moving forward with all effort to support our long-term initiatives by donations to the Evans Mill Nursing Home, donated funds to incarcerated members, supported the Garden of Eden Food Pantry, and all initiatives of the Outreach Ministry. Our Worship Arts Ministry provides weekly experiences that stir and enhance the spiritual well-being of the St. Paul AME Worship Center. The weekly theme was Worship Reimagined, Next Level Experiences. Thank you for allowing us to share with you.